So this idea that Russia just wants Trump to win, it's horseshit. Yeah, they don't care. They just need the process to look bad. So wait, we, we have a constitutional republic, right? What do they have? What a do, dictatorship, basically. Yeah, absolutely. So they don't need a friend. They just need the process, the idea of America to look broken. That's what that's success to them. If I like I can say this with such absolute like conviction because this is what we do. This is what we do. This is what we go overseas and do. Like we have specific groups that are doing this exact thing to make them look bad, but they're doing it to us and because America is so free, it's so much easier to do here. Like how hard is it for me to go to Russia and or land in China and go and start planting seeds of discontent. It's pretty freaking hard, right? Like here it's not. Mm. So hard to fight this. So because of the fact that we have freedom and because of the fact that we have these democratic elections, because of the fact that we have uh, the ability to express ourselves and communicate freely online, mm -hmm. which they don't really have in either one of those countries. I mean, there's severe repercussions for criticizing the government in China. Yeah. Severe. And same thing about Russia. A friend who's um, uh, uh, very well versed online found this uh, Antifa uh, rage, uh, this uh, thing against white rage online, and they they trace the IP back to Russia. Yeah, and they're like, "This is wild. This is wild shit." Like, they're it's doing not this. wild though. It like isn't, America, we did. yeah, right. America, wake up your eyes because it, or, or, wake up and open your eyes to this is happening. Where how naive is it for us not to think? that our enemies are trying to negatively affect what is happening here. Right, because this is the place where you can negatively affect mm -hmm. it in the way that they can do it here, which is different than the way you could affect anything in Russia or China yeah. because of the fact that we have this freedom of expression. Yeah, they don't, they don't need somebody to win. They just have to make us look bad. This is where our, our media has failed us because our media takes this horrible partisan position, whether you're on the left or the right, they, they only want to look at the things that show that the left or the right, depending on who your enemy is, is fucking up and how China or Russia, whoever whoever you deem the, the player that's the key player, is influencing our elections because they want this person to win. So if you yeah. love America, you will vote against Trump because yeah. the Russians want Trump to win. And this is this is the fucking narrative that keeps getting spit out at yeah. us. And it's not a, it doesn't sit well with me. Yeah. And I'm glad you're explaining it the way you're explaining it, because partisanship and this this abil inability to look at things objectively is really fucking us up yeah it's really bad and these motherfuckers that are running the media there's a reason why people aren't paying attention anymore there's a reason yeah. there's a reason why those those sources are not trusted i mean d divided is perfectly divided like if if, if i if i were in china or in Moscow, I was like, exactly what kind of environment do I want so I could negatively affect an election? You're looking at it, right? Yeah. I'm going to stoke the fires of the 1% on the right. I'm going to stoke the fires of the 1% on the left. And I'm just going to, I want them so angry. I've created all these different accounts that have thousands of followers. They're fake. The followers are bots. And the people that are saying that those are real people that speak perfect English and they are in there in those groups just planting hate so that people can just get madder and madder and madder. <clears throat> you know, we look at like black lives matter. I don't think there's a single American that that's going to be like, no, black lives don't matter. Well, I mean, there, there might be one, but screw that racist, right? So few and so irrelevant. It's such a minor position. Yeah. And like, yeah. like the, is there solidarity for sure? Like are the solutions, the things being talked about? Not really. Not really. Why is that? Like I'm spending probably half of my waking hours right now developing a way to be able to train police officers and get something into every single police department so they can like, you know, unconscious bias, um, training about how to deescalate, understanding different cultures, right? If I'm walking down the street and I see a key, Sikh and I'm like, oh, is this a Muslim? I've got to go here and fight this guy. And the guy comes in a little bit close because that's part of their culture and it's also part of their culture that they have a knife. And, um, but I don't know any of this and I just, misunderstood who this person is and his religion and his ethnicity. And now I have this super bad interaction because this guy stepped into my space and all could, that could have been trained out. Like I know the Chinese and the Russians are loving the fact that the, we are questioning 
do laws really matter? Can we just let things go? Mm. Can we just tear down statues? Can you just walk out into the middle of an interstate and stop traffic because you believe you have the right to do that? No, you, you can't do that. Like the re- rule of law is there not just for you, but it's for us. And if you believe in the collective, then you have to believe that those laws are there for our good. And we have to make sure we elect good guys that put in good laws. But like, if you just don't believe that it matters and you can go and you can riot and you can loot and it's just property, like you can burn that building down. It's just property. Lives are more important than property, but there are people's lives that are attached to that property. It might be how they make their money. It might be where they live. Like watching Antifa throw those Molotov cocktails while there were kids sleeping upstairs in the apartment building. Like shame on you. You're being played right now. Not only that, but what you said earlier, if you do destroy that property, understand the lives that are going to be affected because that community is going to be entrenched in poverty. For generations. This petty, immature... hate that people have against other people like they're not other people they're other americans that believe in the same thing as you and that want the same thing as you they might have a different way of going about it and getting there uh, per, and perspective but like we we all bleed red 